Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I have no dishes. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump in and make coffee instead. Oh, my God. I hope everybody got home safely um, last night. Hope everybody is well. Another weekend. Sometimes I'll be here and I'll be like really costuming things and I'll be like, oh, I didn't even start the coffee maker. <laughs> hey, I made pork stew yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always keep on wanting to put, put it right in there. Paper that mulch where you wet it, you know, and it turns woody color. This would be great, like if you wet it and it would come out like green, you know, instead of white. Or if you have the yellow ones, <laughs> uh, I'm always thinking about ideas. <laughs> anyway, it's an idea. <laughs> so just waiting for the coffee to be done. Um. The dog already ate. I already took them out um, a little bit ago. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to get what you, you guys can see my head at the same time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he, so he has like a little nub, you know, like right here by his um, his front paw. Because we couldn't, you know, I told my son to, you know, to look at him because he was limping. So, and you know how, how sometimes dogs are, they don't want to, what do you call it, um, let you mess with their paws. So, he just kept on, you know, snatching it back. And then, no, 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 check it out. So, <clears throat> I held them down like if I were to hold down a baby when they're getting their shots. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm my son did find it, and he goes, yeah, it's a little bit raw. I go, oh, I see it. So it, not, it wasn't caught, and not, it's not like it has a gash or anything like that. And we can't put peroxide or anything on it because, you know, he'll lick it, and he can get sick, so we can't do that. The only thing I could do is just, um, you know, just go along with what he does. I mean, I could try to put soap, you know, soap in a little bit of a little bit of water and soap that won't harm him, but they still cleanse it. But I just have to depend on him licking it. You know, like you know, when dogs look, lick their wounds, they kind of like um, end up you know healing themselves. So that that's what I'm counting on right now. I mean, he's fine. He's walking better. He's not going to be like he was um, a day ago. Um, I think it was yesterday he was limping a lot, but now he. Fine. He's doing little. I mean, he's still a bit, but not as much. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna be taking him 
help. I'll take him out later, but I just got to make sure. I don't know how he got it. I don't think he stepped on glass or anything like that. I think maybe he bit it. Maybe, you know how some dogs, they, you know, they, they clean themselves and they chew on their paws sometimes. But I think that that's uh, what it was. Maybe he bit himself. But I also have to try to find a way to clean his paws because every time he pees, he pees on his paws. And, you know, I have to worry about that too. And if he's licking, then that can get him sick as well. So, you gotta figure something out. Let me see. Oh, I forgot about this. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna cook today. Yeah, so, yeah, and that, I don't know, I just got up early because the puppy got up, and I, I was surprised because yesterday he did not eat, he didn't want to play, he didn't want to eat, you know, and I was like, yeah, when he doesn't play, and he doesn't bother you, and he, you know something's wrong, he's in pain with something's wrong, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be grateful, and <laughs> Then he's he's being you know too tired to do anything. <laughs> yes. Come on. I mean he doesn't play for that long. I don't know if you guys noticed that when you have like German shepherds or any, I think any kind of dog, you play with them for a little bit and they get tired right away. It's like as I sometimes I used to think when he first came, it's like oh man I gotta play with him. It's gonna take a long time. Oh, I was going to take a minute, but now, you know what, it's, I play with him less, you know, maybe five minutes and he's done. He's like, okay, I'm done, you know, and he doesn't want to play anymore. He'll grab the ball, he'll, he'll go on his, on the bed and he'll just chew on the ball, but, and then he'll be panting, but that's it. That's it. It's like his game, the game time is over, you know, so I don't really mind when he wants to play, I'll play, you know, because it's just, it, he, you know, they got to do something, so I, it's not like they have tablets and, started and uh yeah oh i hope you tuned in to um my faith night friday uh yesterday um if you did thank you um so yeah i'm trying to be consistent you know stay consistent with that and uh i did talk about you know some um tools that you can use in order to help you uh, want to read or you know dabble in these different things that could help you make it fun so um probably at the end of the month i'll show you um all the things that i do the tools i'll show you my master plan on <laughs> my book and um yeah so i'll show you all that because that's what i do i like to, i like to see my tracker and my tracker um on the reading on the daily for my devotional is is being consistent so I'm really happy about the trackers are really fun by the way so if you have to make some fun trackers they are really really fun so and that's what I did I like to have fun with what I'm doing I didn't see anything really eye-popping you know I did some research I try to look for workbooks and books nah, 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 nah. do I really want to buy that nah, yeah didn't say I don't want to spend money on something that I, I'm gonna buy and I'm probably just going to flip through it, you know, maybe do a few pages and then just leave it on the shelf because it just didn't do anything for me. You, you know what I mean, right? Okay, guys, so I think that's it for now. Um, So, like, guys, you know, like I always say, you're welcome to like, uh, subscribe, and if you wish, you can comment. Oh, does that mean I've been trying? Because I don't know. I ended up with all these subscriptions. 
You, you know when you go on the side and it goes uh, search home um, and, and then it goes all the other stuff, favorites, and then it goes subscriptions, you know? And I went on there and I had a boatload, like a boatload of subscriptions. And I'm like, I, didn't, I don't remember subscribing to any of these people. I don't even know who they are. And it was just a but I, I gotta, you know, I gotta figure out how to get these off because when I do want to hunt for somebody because I don't remember their name, but I'll remember seeing it. I go, oh, okay, that's the person I was looking for. I had scroll like forever and forever to try to find it. So I said, I gotta find a way to get, you know, to get rid of some of these subscriptions. So I ended up doing it on the phone, thinking it would go off. On the, on the TV, you know, you go on YouTube on your phone, you go on YouTube on your laptop, you go on YouTube, you know, on the TV. So, I I unsubscribed so many of them, oh, like so many of them. But when I went to YouTube and I went to subscriptions, they were still there. And I was like, wait a minute, they were supposed to be unsubscribed. So I'm like, oh my God. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I do it? Do I do it on the TV or do I do it on the computer? So now, I'm, I'm now I feel like I'm in limbo because I still have, all, and I'm going through all that. I have the vaguest idea who these are. Maybe I'm thinking maybe the kids did it, maybe the little one, you know. There was a lot of anime, a lot of um, um, Poppy Playtime, things like that, you know, a lot of, you know. Did, I'm like, and there was, there was this one that I remember seeing, and I was, and I only seen her video maybe a couple of times, because, you know, she was new, and I wanted to, if she was going live, she was doing workouts, I, oh, see, I mean, she give me some inspiration, see what she does, how she does it, but I never subscribed to her, I just clicked on her video, and her subscription was in there. I go, wait a minute, I never subscribed. So how did it get there? And a lot of other ones. I'm like, what the hell is this? <sighs> and then I don't like it when my grandson uh, does the shorts because I'm like, don't watch shorts because when I try to look for my history, I can't find it. I have to go through all these shorts. <laughs> they should separate that. I mean, they, I mean, I don't know. They just should separate it, you know? It's hard to find people when you're looking for them, and then you're trying to think how, how you spelled it, how how the person looked like, you know. Oh my God, it's oh, it's annoying. Anyway, enough of my ranting. <laughs> Always do that. Always right. Anyway, let me get this thing going, and yeah, we will um see you in a bit. Have a good day, guys. Okay, guys. So. I really like this area right here. I know I don't I don't show it show it as much because it's for one it's hard for me to set up everything and and to sit down and stuff like that. But um, and mostly because I do have I have a lot of board tables. I mean I have a lot of them. I have. Um, a lot of board trays. I have a computer one where I can sit my, you know, computer and it, it sits up. And then I have a tray, a wooden tray, which is the one I usually use for um, Tea Time Tuesday. And then I have um, this one right here that I'm using right now. Now this one, let me show you, it has, I'm just about to crochet. It does, let's see if I can put this here without it falling. It does have legs, you know, like this. So I could put it like this. And with this one, you know, I can write on here. I can, you know, color on here. I can do whatever I want on here. But mostly I just use it. Uh, oh, that was good. <laughs> just, you know, just to put my, my coffee on. That's what I usually use it for. And uh, yeah, that's why I have my, what do you call it? My coloring pencils. I love this light, it was a hookup light. And glasses, you know, little notepad if I need to write something down, you know, real quick. 
And then of course I have um, my, let me see if I can, my, my journal back there. And then I have, let's see, I think this is old. Let's take this out. I don't know what these are. I know they're old. I'll throw them out. I can use that little container. I have like this little garbage can container, like the ones that you see outside in the backyard. I mean, when you go out throughout the alley, you know, with the, the blue garbage can for boxes and stuff. I have a, a, a miniature one that I bought from uh, Dollar Tree. I have my uh, Napoli in Love right here. And I bought this little thing up there. It was supposed to be a pencil holder. I couldn't find the original um, when they were doing all those um, uh, little, what do they call it? Those boards, those all those boards that had all of these things, you know, and they have all the accessories, but I couldn't find the cup holder. So I ended up buying, um, I did find this. This idea maybe I should put down here. It's not really doing nothing up there. I do, I should have bought another. I'm gonna see if I could find a, another long one. Maybe, a, maybe a black one. So it can match, nah, I'll keep it white. And, uh, and then move this down here because every time I do my bed, the cover gets stuck on this thing and I have it glued down with, um, I don't know, those double-sided tape, the white ones. So I have it, you know, glued down with that. But every time I do my cover, it gets stuck up there and then it pulls everything and all the pencils come flying out. That's come out. I'm putting nothing up there. So maybe I I will buy another board. I have another board like this, but I don't have another one. These are two separate kinds. These boards and this one. I knew he was gonna start barking. I just knew. Cersei's, be quiet. Cersei's. Anyway, I was hoping he would be quiet. Talk to him. Is there anything wrong when I do this? Cersei's, come here! Cersei's, come here! Right now his foot is injured. Um, I had my son uh, flip him over and so we could take a look at what's going on. So, yeah, he has some kind of like little exposed, like little nub that it's, it is exposed. So, and I can't spray anything on there. I can't put like, um, you know, peroxide or anything because he'll lick it and I don't need him to get sick. So I can't really do anything unless I just put like maybe just a little bit of very light soap and just, you know, like just ring out the town, just a drip. So just to be clean it, I don't think soap would harm him. But anything more, um, you know, chemical things or anything like that I can't I can't risk it but um yeah today was supposed to be crepe paper crafts and I was like oh so I even I've been feeling so tired lately I don't know why maybe it's because of all the walking I do I don't know but I'm like I am really really feeling it and I was telling my son I, I must be at that age where you know you um Every time we used to see your grandma or something like that, and she'd be sleeping on the chair or something, and your parents or whoever would always say, don't go with your grandma sleeping, or you'd be, eh, you know. <laughs> and I'd, I'd go, am I, am, I, am I at that age? Because that's, I, you know, you're just gonna, guys, some days, you guys are just gonna see me knocked out, you know, <laughs> not, not do anything. You know, being a grandma, you know, and taking care of three, three kids it's not easy they're good kids you know sometimes I have problems with, with them you know especially the two boys because they're always they're always at each other like all the time but for the most part they're they're okay you know I just I just tell them you, they have to learn not to touch each other because they're always one the older one's always poking the younger one and the younger one gets mad and and then the younger one always has to say it has to have to have the last word and it just antagonizes the older one and then they're bickering and 
Oh, oh, aren't you gonna do anything? Aren't you gonna say anything? To you? Oh, that's rude. That's just rude. I'm like, oh my god. My granddaughter, she's like kind of like in the middle, like. She doesn't know what to do because the little one wants to wants time with her and the older one wants time with her. I'm like, oh my god. So she's like, you know, like, like thinking like the monkey in the middle, and she's kind of like, always like they're always pulling on her this way and that way, and this way and that way. <laughs> so I kind of feel sorry for her for that. But uh, I'm like, you know, you just have to do the best you can. The, the, old, the little one wants to spend time with you, and the big one wants to spend time with you. So, you know, you're going to have to give up an hour or so to each one, you know, because it's not fair, you know, it's not fair to them, you know, that you are a girl, and but at the same time, you are their sibling, and it's not fair that you ignore them. Um, yeah, you have your friends and you'd rather speak and have fun on the phone with, or a tablet or whatever on your friends or your computer, but then when the boys want some of your attention, no, not right now, or no, later, no, you know what I mean? But so, it's kind of hard for her too, it's like, she wants her quiet time, she wants her privacy and things like that, so, it's, you know, it's a little, every day, it's, you know, but they're getting, the thing, a good thing is, they're all getting older. They're all getting older, so I don't have to worry as much for them. Like, e even today, when they went to the store today, because I was like, they wanted to go to Walmart. My grandson got his first check, and um, he wanted to go to Walmart and buy some lava thing, kit thing. And I said, okay, and he goes, oh, yeah, me and Michaela are going to go, you and Michaela. And I, I was like, he goes, yeah, I mean, I want to wake you up and let you know I didn't want to leave and then you wake up and you don't see us here. I go, yes, that would have been a few terrifying, like, where are they? You know, but uh, at the same token, I was like, yeah, you guys, you know, it's, he's 14. I, I trust him because he's already coming back and forth on the bus and everything like that. But when it comes to Michaela, I'm like, she's only 12 years old and I I don't know, you know, I'm like, no, oh, I'm a little iffy about that. So I did tell her, I said, look, we both are going to go to Walmart. You guys have to stick together like glue. I don't want you, you going one way or you're going to be on another aisle or I'll just be right around the corner. No, no, you've got to stay together like glue. Or you ain't, you guys ain't going. And uh, he was so disappointed. He came back, and, but they didn't have it, so he had he had had to end up ordering it online. So he goes, "Oh man, I really wanted to play with that. I really wanted to do it." And he goes, "But it won't be here until Sunday." I go, "Well, today, two days away. He'll be here." Just like when he was like, he couldn't wait for his check to come. He's waiting for his check. I go, "Don't worry, your check will be here. It'll be here." And see, they, there you go. You got it. <laughs> so he was happy about that. You know, he got his money. Um, he does get another check coming the next two weeks. So yeah, again, it it he had it would be his whole earnings are four hundred. Uh, for the whole program and I think the next two weeks will I think it ends in August because he has to go to high school and he has to go for his orientation and luckily they'll be done before that so that kind of like works out perfectly I was like okay great good one Cause you know these days you know when it comes to high school and orientations if it's kind of like you have to go it's a mandatory I don't remember ever going yeah, to those things. If I did, I'm like, I didn't care. I don't think I ever went to them. I don't think I did. Or I might have went to the first one and didn't go to the next two other ones. You know, I think it's like three days, three days. I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Well, it was three days for us or two days. I always went to the first one. I never went for the second one. But uh, yeah, they're, they're mandatory. You got to go. And, you know, so, but then that would be it. And, you know, so he wants to buy a bike because he wants to be able to ride his bicycle to the school that, that's not too far away from here. So um, his mom is going to make sure that the bikes has um, 
winter, winter rubble, rubber wheels or something because of the still of the traction. So she wants to help him find a good bike like that. And I was like, okay. But um, yeah, so that's working out well for him. He hasn't been late. He hasn't been, uh, he hasn't missed a day. And he's very like, he don't want to, neither. You know, it's very important to him. You know, so. And then my granddaughter, she's going to be going to his old school, which is intrinsic. So she'll be going there. And then of course I have to continue taking the little one, but that's okay. At least, you know, uh, it gives me a reason to get up in the morning because I have to take him. Plus, I have to make sure the other ones are up and out the door. But um, I guess after, you know, who knows, you know, what lies ahead. But I guess after he gets to uh, being in fifth grade himself, the little one, he always go to school by himself. Hopefully, it'll be a nearby school as well. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he'll still be here, if he won't be here. I don't know. But by then, um, if and when he can go to school by himself, then I'm done. Then I'm done. Hopefully, I don't know if it'll be that long. I'm not sure. Only God knows what awaits for this family. And I hope and pray that uh, all will be well, all be taken care of. And um, yeah, and we're just going to have to um, take it day by day. But I really enjoy the quietness that I get, you know, when they're not here or like the little one is with his mom and I'm so grateful because he's all, oh, they're always bickering. The weekend is the worst because they're always like at each other's uh, throats. Not so much the weekdays because he's in school. I mean, he's yeah, he's in school for the majority of the morning and the afternoon. So, and then, you know, I, I just have to deal with the little one here. And Michaela helps out every now and then and she's mostly, mostly just, you know, either in the living room or something like that. But he's always calling her too. Come and look at this, come and look. <laughs> but anyway, I love my setup, I really do. I wish I could, you know, film here, you know, more often, but, you know, like I said, the only thing I do in this area is mostly just read, color, and uh, yeah. And I really don't do the yarn because I need a lot of work to do any kind of uh, yarn work. But, okay, well, guys, I'm gonna get off now because evidently this one's barking. It's always a challenge to get off this bed. It's king size, so yeah, it's always a challenge. Okay, guys, we will see you in a bit. Come on, we have to go. What's wrong with your foot now? What happened? What's wrong? Hmm? Okay, so I guess he's like something's wrong. You see how he's walking? That, no, don't look. I don't know what that is. So either he stepped on glass or something. And one thing about him, he would not let us touch his his uh, his paws. He like he uh, takes it away from us right away. And I always tell him, don't pee on your paws. And and then I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to find a way to clean his paws every every day because yeah, I don't know what he just keeps on limping on that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to buy him. Well, I have a spray bottle. I'll spray down his uh, feet when I get in. Oh, my God. So, yeah, another nice hot day. It's not gloomy. I really don't see no clouds, but, you know, nice blue sky. What's this, paint? Oh, right, that's paint or something. Anyway, I'm wearing these shoes right now. Only because I didn't want to have to tie the other ones. So, yeah, I said no. And then these are the shorts I bought. I don't know, see them? They're kind of long. I bought these at Walmart, you know. But um, I was looking for, um, you know, active wear. And they didn't really have anything I liked. So I said, you know, I'll just get these for now. Good morning. How are you this morning? Clean. What is that? Is that, is that paint? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Paint, they, they Either paint or milk. That's why I'm trying to clean it up. Yeah, here. it's something. It looks more like milk. I, I thought it was something. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's coming from all the way over here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Uh-uh. They're looking for somebody every 
every time we see um, a helicopter around here, we're looking for somebody. <laughs> uh, see, I'm, I'm thinking he probably stepped on something, some glass. There is a, a lot of glass around here. I guess maybe that's not a good idea to walk the dogs in the alley, right? But then I can't take him to the park because if I take him to the park, he'll be running up after every every little tiny dog. Then he wants to eat them. <laughs> well, not eat them, but you know how they are. They start barking at one another. So, yeah, I'm going to just take him inside. Something's hurting him. And uh, find out. Or I have my son. He listens more to my son. He tells him to do something. He does it. See, it's bothering him. He keeps looking at. And so I got. I'm gonna have to spray him down and find out. I have my son look look at his paws. Come on, no. Ch oh, he loves chasing after pigeons. Oh Jesus. See, he like, he just won't leave it alone. Oh well. And I just try to keep him in the side. See, I I keep him on the side so he could, you know, could pee by the by the trees. But and just to get him out of the house. Cause my son won't walk him out until maybe three o'clock in the morning. Then they're at the park. And it's more quiet. Uh -oh. Stop chasing whatever's back there. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what he saw. No, I think it was either um a squirrel or something or a, yeah <laughs> yeah i saw a roadkill of a rat not too long ago down there I see them all the time. yeah and then i'm like okay like then the next day i think it was a couple of days later i didn't see it did the garbage man pick it up when it's roadkill maybe right i don't know it, all i know it was gone oh, okay come on we gotta find out what's going on with that paw so, yeah, that's what happened to me yesterday with my hub, uh, all that uploading got me upset. I mean, well, it didn't really get me upset. It was just, you know, like, ah, uh, I was trying this and I was trying that and I was trying to minimize the minutes and then this happened and it was still too much. Uh, ah. So everything finally went through the next day. And usually when it's like over, like when it's like 53 minutes, let's say, it takes a minute to upload. It's not going to upload, you know, right away. But when it's like 20 minutes or 25, oh, it, it uploads so fast, so fast. So I go, oh, it's uploaded already. But when it's more, when it's longer than that or close to an hour, 60 minutes, yeah, it'll take a long time. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... I did, what do you call it? Ah, oh, these flies are going to be a pain in the butt. Because it's, you know, the garbage cans. Well, I know this one person here. Um, They're always cleaning the garbage cans. And I guess that's what you, you should do. But our landlord, we don't have a hose. Otherwise, I do it, you know. I will do it. Oh, somebody got a pool. Cool. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so then I tried looking online to see if I could find some yeah he's still limping some sports uh some active wear but uh, see, I said I'll wait until next day. I'll just wear continue wearing these I just don't like my thighs rubbing together because that's where I said no I said no I said no I said no yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him in I know he's having a hard time walking, so I know when he feels a little bit better, I'll walk him longer. I know that could be annoying when you're in pain and, you know, you're trying to walk. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of glass down here. I got to be, maybe he got look, more glass. See, that's, yeah, I have to be more careful. Okay, I'm going to take a, he keeps limping. I don't want here, I, him out here more than he has to be. I don't want to make him suffer. Okay, guys, yeah, I know. I still got to throw this out. I'll have my granddaughter do it today. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Here we are. <laughs> so, I know yesterday when I was uh, showing you what I was eating, I forgot, completely forgot to mention the bagel. <laughs> I was like, I forgot the bagel. <laughs> 
anyway um oh, excuse me i just had a little bit of uh a little bit of of a kind of like good i'm so tired um you know you take out the avocado and there's always you know you never get all of it with the spoon <laughs> so i grabbed that i ate that that's why i'm burping uh but yeah let me show you and what i have but i want to talk to you about what i'm eating okay this is what i'm eating and if you can see this is a lot this is a lot of food okay and if you don't want to you know eat a lot of fatty stuff i did i was planning on making bacon but then again because everything's so fast to cook and bacon takes a long time and i kind of like could do without the grease i just cooked the hot dog instead um so i got a big orange i had bought some oranges um the other day and i was like that's a that was a big orange look at that orange that's a lot of orange so having that and of course having two scrambled eggs and that's the hot dog is the ballpark uh butterball hot dogs i love them when they're fried they're so good i don't like them when they're you know just when you boil them or you heat them up they have to be fried if when they're fried they are so good then of course i got myself a, a slice of toast and you can see there's no butter on there it's just plain and I really shouldn't eat, really be eating bread, but you know, just a little bit of bread, I, I don't think it'll hurt. And of course, I got my avocado. And like always, I sprinkle salt on the avocado, the eggs, and the orange. Oh, it tastes so good with the orange. But again, this is a lot of food, guys. This is fun. This, this will fill you up. You feel like, oh, you can't eat that much in the morning. You know, it's like, you know it's too much and you're gonna gain a lot of weight if you eat you know so much in the morning but if you eat the right things it won't be a lot of calories and it will fill you up it would be like you you know gain a watermelon and cutting it up in a lot of pieces and having a whole bowl of watermelon it's not it's not gonna you know it's gonna fill you up and it doesn't hardly barely has calories so if you're a calorie counter count on the stuff that you're eating okay look at what you're eating okay and and make it a lot i noticed when you when you just eat an avocado you know and you just put it on the plate it doesn't look like much or you know you slice up um or you open up an orange and you just split them it doesn't look like much but when you cut them in pieces and you fill up the plate look at it the eye is seeing that wow that's a lot of food and it is it is a lot of food i got a big orange i had a nice size avocado i had only one hot dog and two scrambled eggs and two slices or a slice of bread toasted and cutting it and this is a lot of stuff and this will fill me up until um probably dinner time because it's already like 11 o'clock and i haven't done my devotion i'm gonna get and do my i woke up hungry this morning so i'm gonna do my devotionals after i finish eating so you could always eat healthy guys and still be full okay don't let everything else fool you and then, you know you can eat sweets once in a while you know like just the other day i had the walmart has these donuts with this white glaze over and i was like i gotta get them i gotta get them so i got them and i ate both of them <laughs> they were so good but i only grab them when i see them and sometimes it's a hit or miss sometimes they're there and i'm grateful and some when they're not there i'm also grateful <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> okay guys so without further ado and of course i have my my water yeah, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from, you know, Kool-Aid, pop, anything that has to do with any kind of sugar. Um, I don't eat orange. I don't need orange juice because I have the orange. So, like I said, without further ado, I'm digging in. We'll see you in a bit.